everybody. Welcome back. Devin UG, original Grognard, sitting down. What are we at? Turn four of our playthrough of World of War 85, Storming the Gap, Scenario 10, Zweite Gegangriff. And things have taken a serious downturn for the pack forces. I actually thought the pack forces were going to be doing a lot better than they are. Oh, well, it just shows you what I know. All right, um, really, <laughs> and I don't have many this time, but the only rules, uh, corrections, issues, whatever, whatever you want to call it, um, when I dropped the artillery last turn, wherever I dropped the artillery, uh, when you roll artillery strikes, you roll whatever the strength of the artillery is against both, against all units in the hex, or one or both, because you can only have really two units, although technically you could have four, but those would be passengers and transports, and the passengers suffer whatever the transports, uh, whatever fate befalls the transport, so, you know, it's really just two units. Um, and I only rolled uh, against one. Um, yeah, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. It should have been the three by four because that was what the DPICM uh, three dice at four to hit should have been three dice at four at one target and three dice at four at the other target in the hex. <sighs> yeah, oh well, at least that was only one rule I had to <laughs> check last time. <laughs> so, anyways, let's go ahead and get into this and let's shuffle the cards like the cool kids do. Even though there is in no way, shape, or form, am I cool? Uh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, we'll do that like that. And then like that. Yeah, there we go. We like that. Really, the, the only chance the Soviets have of salvaging anything here soon-ish... Uh, well, first of all, it's for all those stupid fire. And I was looking through. I don't, there was only there's only what one, two, three, four, five, six fire markers. I couldn't find any other fire markers in my counters. With how quickly fires can seem to spread, you'd think there'd be a few more fire markers in the in the counter mix. Oh well, maybe they were hoping they were supposed to burn out a little bit quicker, but obviously they haven't in this village, and this village still continues to burn like a barbecue. In Austin on football Sunday, it's it's blazing pretty hard. <laughs> it's, it's really burning. Mm, nothing's burned out yet. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, first, oh great, hell of a way to start off the turn. End of operations right off the bat. Uh, all right, uh, two two forty second guards motor rifle regiment. That's these guys up here. Now, they had a head headquarters off. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put the headquarters with the infantry. Um, and no missile markers to check. Everybody's in command. No disrupted. Straight into operations. I think what we're going to do is the BMPs are going to go ahead and pull back as preservation of forces. Because they literally can do nothing to the, uh, to the Leos. And they might be able to do something to the Lush, but... That's they're not even going to try to risk it. The the biggest chance we've got are these infantry right here, and I don't know why they're hiding in these wreck marks and not in the village. Oh well, tactically not that smart. So what we are going to do is we are going to pop the one saving grace that that formation has, and they have a Sagar ATGM that has not been attached yet. So they're going to go ahead and attach it. To one of the infantry units, and they're going to fire," said Sagger, at three dice at four for a range of eleven. Uh, who do they want to pick on? I think. Do they want to pick on the half strength of full strength? Three dice, and they're stacked with the headquarters. They'll get the headquarters command bonus of plus one. So this is going to be four dice at four. <sighs> You know what? Let's pick on. Let's pick on. Let's pick on the wounded. Let's pick on the wounded Leo platoon. So, four dice of four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> there we go. That's what we. Finally, the Soviets are starting to shoot again, and I still haven't grabbed a dice to mark how many hits they are. Oh, well, I'll just put that there. Although it would take me like five seconds to reach over to my dice bag and grab something. I don't want to do that. Um, all right, so they got four hits. 
Uh, the Leo has three dice at six defense, and no, nothing for terrain. Uh, so one, so they saved one hit, which means they end up taking three hits. But first one disrupts, second one is a step loss, and they're already reduced strength, so pop goes the weasel. They are knocked out as well. Now, normally, since we had three hits that were still inflicted on the hex, that would rubble the hex and possibly start a fire if it was any if any type of obscuring or blocking terrain. It's a clear hex. You don't, you don't worry about it in clear hexes. But we still lay down a rex marker regardless. Yay! They're actually starting, the Soviets are actually starting to do something. And let's see. They've got a range of two, one, two, three. Yeah, so even if, if the squads wouldn't be able to do anything else, or platoons wouldn't be able to do anything else, because they just don't have the range. So we're going to mark that, and the Sager, and the one infantry platoon as ops complete. He'll go ahead, and we'll have one platoon. You know what? Let's go. <laughs> no, because if I sneak him up... Now, I was thinking of sneaking him up into the village just because of the added defense bonus, but I'm not going to. So we'll leave him as uh, not ops complete. Maybe he can uh, do some op fire if the Lush or the Leo gets close enough. <laughs> Although I don't think that's going to happen. Soviets have got to have hope, baby. Got to have hope. Next card. Oh, end of operations. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> well, that was a quick turn. That's it, boys and girls. The turn is over. All right. <laughs> now. <sighs> we had formations that didn't activate. We had this Panzer formation. We had that Panzer Grenadier formation. We had this Guards Motor Rifle Regiment. We had the helicopters that didn't... Boy, we had a lot of units that didn't activate. So, Yeah. <laughs> Those uh, that end of operations uh, uh, card is not going to go back into the deck next turn until pretty much the end of the until there's no virtually no cards left. So all right, that's turn four. Now see that that's this is how the turns are supposed to go. It's less than ten minutes. We got a turn burned out, and if I'm not talking and babbling and explaining stuff, the game goes pretty quick. All right, so let's go ahead. Shuffle up the cards a little bit more. And oops, God bless it. That's actually pretty good. Maybe those guards motorized can get a chance. Guards motor can get a chance to shoot again. <laughs> Shuffle the cards. Shuffle the cards. Oh, uh, for those of you who are interested, the Vassal mod for the starter kit for World at War has been released. Um, if you go to uh, the Facebook group, the World at War Facebook group, and the Lock and Load Facebook group, and pretty much every other Facebook group that has something to do with modern warfare you're gonna and go back a little bit you'll you'll find links to the uh to the starter kit uh vassal mine it's, it's actually done pretty well i mean you it's only got the counters and the card formations in there just to play the the starter scenario and you can get the full rules and the starter kit scenario uh from lock and loads website so if you're interested in the game if you if you haven't decided if you need to make the jump into this yet or not there is a chance that all right is the rule system okay this idiot Devin, he's not explaining the game real well he's making a lot of mistakes i need to read this for myself go to the lock and load website go to the lock and load facebook page go to the world at war facebook page it links for the for the for a pdf for, for the pdf for the full rules and the starter kit scenario on there download it look at it at your leisure download the vassal mod push some counters around in cyberspace help make your decision if this is what you want to get all right so turn five why are they doing yard work we might have some noise 
starting to appear because they're doing yard work and they normally come on Wednesdays, not Tuesdays. So, well, hopefully it won't get too annoying. All right, so flip the first card. End of operations. No, four 152nd Panzer Grenadiers. All right, so the West Germans get to go. <laughs> There's a lot of West Germans left. There really isn't. Um, you know what? The West Germans, they do have one saving grace as well. They still have a Milan here. Uh, they haven't popped as a support weapon, so they're going to go ahead and pop that. Oops, I should probably. Procedurally, headquarters. Let's put the headquarters. Let's put the attach it to the infantry just because then uh see everybody's in command nobody's disrupted no missiles we have to roll for no depletion so go right into operations these guys are going to pop their milan it's going to be four dice at four and they're going to shoot at those t62s right there and it's not minimum range remember we got that special black triangle with a with a atgm uh, can't fire at anything less than three hexes one, two, three. It is three hexes, but it's not less than three hexes. Wording is important. So we got four dice at four. They're attached with the headquarters. Five dice at four. Actually, they're also that would also be point blank range, which would reduce the to hit. So five dice at three. Wow. Remember, point blank range is half their normal range. Um, oops, that actually was a three, a two, so two hits. Two hits may be enough to knock them out. So we got uh, the T62 gets three dice at six. It has no defensive modifications. Three dice at six. All right, that's actually pretty good. So we got one save, which brings it down to one hit which just disrupts the T-62 and keeps them fighting a little bit for another day. Oops, wrong one. That gets the ops complete. All right, what else we got? We got the two martyr units here. They, both of them, are going to open fire on that infantry in those buildings right there. Uh, let's see, range four, one, two, two at five. Okay, is it equal to... So it's point blank less than half or equal to and less than half. That's because right they they are right at half range. Point blank. What's the definition for point blank? Minus one to hit for direct firing only, not on board artillery and close air supports. Up to one half of the printed range value rounded down. Up to one half. Again, wording is important. They are at half. So, range of four, and they're going to be firing with uh, uh, high explosive. So, range of four, so up to half, so up to two hexes. That's two hexes, is point blank fire. Two dice at five. The point blank makes it two dice at four. First martyr. Pop, 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 pop. Two and a three. Nothing. The second martyr. They have 25 millimeters on them. One and a three. So, big bunch of goose eggs. Uh, the West Germans have been performing admirably and beautifully on the assault. Not so much on the shooting for most of the game. Oh, well. Can't get everything. All right. So, that's going to be it for the West Germans. That formation. What formation card do we got next? Battlefield Event Friction. Woohoo! I like the Battlefield Event card. And what do we get? We got a seven. Oh, now that. Oh, where's my chart at? Where's my card at? So many charts. Like I said, I don't mind having so many charts because it makes it easier than having to look in the in the in the rule book. Battlefield events. All right, seven. Uh, no battlefield event. Roll instead. Roll two d six on side B of battlefield friction table. So this is when we go to the friction table, which I was doing wrong the first couple turns. Uh, we have a four. I think we've seen that. New Mercy. <coughs> Global crux of the battle. Stakes are high and everyone on the battlefield knows it. During the next, during your next impulse, as well as the enemy's next impulse, in whatever order they occur, hits inflicted by you or the enemy's units attacking or counterattacking in any assault is doubled before applying that. Wow. This event has no effect on direct or indirect. Okay, so yeah, close assaults are going to be bloody, bloody, bloody because hits that whoever 
for the next two, what does it say? Is it just for the next two or you're the opponents? During your next impulse as well as the opponent's next impulse. So whoever, you know, so for each side is going to get a chance to take advantage of this. Their hits are going to count double just because of that battlefield friction. Wow, that's, I haven't, I, I haven't gone through. I don't like pre-reading events or looking at card descriptions or anything like that beforehand. I like being surprised. So I really don't know what all the battlefield event and frictions are. Uh, oh, there we go. 4 one fifty second Panzer Grin again. Which is... Oh, you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to roll for missile depletion on Milan. So let's roll for missile depletion from last turn. 6-7. Nope, that's equal to the unit's morale. So they're good on ammo. So they still have missile ammo. And I think we're just going to do a replay of what we did last turn. Actually, I even could be popping there. One, two, yeah, I could I could do that as well. All right, so let's go ahead with the Milan. Four dice at four, stacked with a leader, headquarter bonus of one, five dice at four, they're within point blank range, five dice at three. One, two, three, four. Wow. <laughs> I don't think... <sighs> One, two, three, four. I don't think the Soviets are going to survive it this time. Ah, oh, they could. Three dice at six. It would take a Yahtzee. It would take a serious Yahtzee. Three dice at six. Nope, nothing. One, two, five. No says pop goes the weasel. And pop goes the communist. And put a wreck marker there. Yeah, well, I was going to fire the... Uh, the infantry, which I should, I could have done last turn. It, a support weapon can fire in addition to a squad firing. So, uh, okay, let's make sure we roll for missile depletion. The uh, eight. Oh well, that's a that's a missile depleted. So we need to put a reloading missiles marker on it, like that. that pretty purple color. Uh, and then I think both the martyrs are going to go ahead and continue to pour fire into uh, into that poor poor platoon. Uh, two dice at four, or normally two dice at five, but they're a point blank range. Two dice at four. First one, pop, 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 pop. one hit. All right, and the infantry they're in the city. I think a city is two dice. Oh, where's my church? Yes, I know. I seem to be saying that a lot. Where's my church? Where's my church? Kind of like Game of Thrones. Daenerys. Where's my dragons? Where's my dragons? Where's my dragons? Where's my dragons? Just shut up about your dragons, all right? <laughs> um, city. Yep, duty six. City, or actually Urban Hex, I guess you'd call it. 2d6. Defense bonus troops. So they get two dice at five to try to resist the one hit. Uh, one and a three. Nope, they're disrupted. Actually, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to have this. Okay, that was one martyr. Let's go ahead and mark him. Let's go ahead and take him and have him assault. Ah, no, it's a vehicle. Now, let's just sit back and shoot. So, it's going to be two dice four again. Oop, oh, two hits that time. Infantry gets two dice at five to save. Could happen. Doesn't happen. Um, they're already disrupted, so both of those hits go straight to step loss and another step loss. Dead infantry platoon. I think the only thing that's going to save the Soviets at this juncture is the fires <laughs> raging in the city that's going to keep the uh, the West Germans from capturing the city. Very well could happen. All right, so that was that impulse. End of operations. Well, there we go. That's the first one. Second one, second one go, won't go into the deck till other formations activate. What do we got next? Uh, two 153rd Panzer, uh, which is these guys. 
We'll take their headquarters off the end of operations card. Let's go ahead and stick them right here because I'm tired of having my headquarters out in front and getting shot up every five seconds. Um, got no artillery left. Let's go ahead and go, let's see, I wanna try to keep out of that this you. So really, okay, I'm, I'm good. So one, two, they're high explosive ranges for one, two, three, four. Okay, so we'll we'll stop right there. Actually, we'll go one, two, right there. Um, range is four. Uh, Firing high explosive at these guys right here. It's going to be. Let's pull out our handy moving fire chart. I love this thing. Absolutely love this thing. All right, uh, ground unit with black, blue, or green AP or HE. Expend at least one movement point up to half. Minus two firepower dice. Minimum of one. Uh, so he's got two dice at five, but it's going to be one dice at five. Due to firing and moving, he's at normal range. No changes on the hit number, so one dice at five. One nothing. Oh, that's fine. Okay, let's have the Leo move forward. He's going to move two movement points, and he's going to fire and move. But Leo's a little bit different. It's NATO or NATO, NATO allied unit with orange AP or high explosive. No effect. And the Leo, if you take a look, zoom in, and it does autofocus eventually. It's coming, it's coming, there we go. Uh, orange numbers, orange, AP, and high explosive. So there's no, so as long as they move less than half, there is no change to their, their, their dice for moving and firing. Three dice at five. So three dice at five. Uh, six, three, two. All right, so one hit. And the infantry is going to get one dice for being in the wreck marker. Five makes the save. No effect. And these guys are going to go one, two, and they're going to shoot. Again, they only they move less than half. So they, oh, one, two, three, four. Oh, they, yeah, that'll be a long range shot. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that'll be a long range shot. So it'll be three dice at five. Long range shot will be three dice at six, but they'll have two dice additional from the headquarters. So a five dice at six. Uh, one hit. Okay, and the infantry gets one save out of five or six. And hey, there you go. Six made the save. Those infantry are lucky. I'll mark that headquarters. Bam. All right, we're done with that. On to the next one. Uh, two, two forty second guards motorized rifle. All right, these guys. Uh, nobody's ops complete. Nobody's disrupted. No missile. I forgot to roll for their missile last time. Or did I? Did I forget to roll for their missile? No, I made their missile. All right, so these guys are going to fire off the Milan again. That's three dice at four, and they're going to fire at the lead Leos. So three dice at four, stacked with the headquarters, four dice at four. Uh, let's see, range 11, one, two, three, four. Actually, they're under, they're under half. So it's going to be three dice at three. This is dangerous at close range. <laughs> These have such a long range to begin with. Uh, all right, so two hits. Two hits on the Leo. I think in the original version, missiles didn't get that point blank range firepower. I could be wrong. So as we've seen, I tend to, you know, confuse myself with different rule sets. So um, to three dice, uh, defense three dice at six. Mm, not well, pop, 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 five, five, six, yeah. Oh, plus I think he, no, oh, no, 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 he doesn't have the orange triangle. Uh, he didn't have reflective or uh, composite armor, and that helps against uh, ATGMs. 
All right, but we have the infantry. One, two, three, four. Okay, so the infantry, it really doesn't matter because the infantry is high explosive and armor piercing are the same. Two dice at five. One, two, three. And that's at long range, so it doesn't really matter because we're shooting at the armored car, which is a vehicle anyways. So the squad that the Milan is, or yeah, the uh, Saggers are attached to, we'll go ahead and fire. Two dice at five, long range. Two dice at six. Nope, nothing. So then we've got actually been should have been a third dice because the headquarters was assisting the firepower. That's one didn't matter anyways. All right, so then the other infantry will do the same thing, firing at the louche, which will be two dice at six again. Mm, five four, nothing, 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 and the BMPs are huddling in the back. Drinking lots of vodka. Okie dokie. <laughs> Next. Close air support. The Alpha Jet. All right. So the Alpha Jet comes screaming in. Actually, we need to come from this way. Okay. So we need to roll interception. Remember, it's a one in six chance. Procedurally, it's a six. Yeah, we'll go with that. Oops, that didn't roll very well. Just kind of rolled around. All right, two. Okay, so it wasn't intercepted. So where are we going to drop these bad boys at? I think what we want to do... What do we want to do? <laughs> Go after the Zissu. Uh, Zissu or the BMPs there. Or the BTR. Yeah, no, let's go after these BMPs. Now, I think that this issue is going to have line of sight on them. Maybe. Let's take a look at the line of sight chart. Okay. Oh, no. It's not going to be able to. He's in the blind spot. Yeah. Since he's behind, directly behind, an elevated terrain. Then, actually no, wait a minute, how high is Jets? That's unit height one. I think unit height four is Jets? CSU is at height level four. Yeah, I'm gonna say he's not in the line next, just because <laughs> the the LOS and the height with airstrikes still still confuses me. So we're just gonna go ahead and fire it. Uh, so they get three dice at five. Just because the force issue hasn't done anything all game. Uh, six and a five. All right, well, that's two hits. Uh, the CAS has two dice at six. Mm, nope, that's going to be two hits. And I think that one hit just flat out destroys them. Let's take a look at the rules real quick. See, I haven't been going to the rule book as much. Gotten most of the rules down, and I do that. I go more than two weeks from playing this, and I'll forget everything again, but that's okay. <laughs> Results versus close air support, page 64. Okay. Uh, if you score two or more hits on an enemy CAS counter, the enemy is eliminated, and so the card and counter are immediately moved from the scenario. Well, there you go. <laughs> so he's removed. He's put into the dead. Card is removed. We'll go ahead and put that over here, like so. Um, roll for missile ammo. Actually, that's that's not blue. That's green. This issue is a uh, high explosive, forty millimeter. Oh, it in the light, it just. I mean, you get up close, it's blue. But when it's far away, and with my old eyes, anyways, it kind of looks greenish. I guess that's just the light here. Um. All right. So yeah, that's. 
Pops complete. All right, now, what have we got? Okay. Uh, two 153rd Panzer again. Remove Ops Complete counters. Check for command and control. Everybody's in command and control. Nobody's disrupted. Yada, yada, yada. All right. Um, so we're going to start off with the Luke putting fire on the infantry. It's going to be two dice at five. Uh, six and a three. So one dice defensive fire. It's a three, so that's going to be a disrupted on one of them. And the Leos are going to fire high explosive at him. Four, so it's going to be three dice at five. Five, five, three, four, so one hit. Uh, one dice defensive. Three, no, and I didn't declare who I was shooting at. Even top, odd, odd bottom. Even, so it would be the top guy who wasn't disrupted. Now they're all disrupted. Should have declared. All right. And this headquarter, or this unit, is going to go one, two, two, three, four, five. Okay, so they're within short range, or normal range. But they're not point blank. They're not extended range. So it's three dice at five. But they're moved and fired. And they moved two. And they're one of the orange high explosives. So no effect. Because they're special NATO units. Uh, three, five dice at five. Six, one hit, and I forgot to declare who it was going on. Would make more sense that they're firing at the unit that's got the sagger. So, unit with the sagger gets one dice for the defensive terrain they're in the wreck. Three, nope. So they will take a step loss. But they're still in the game. And that's all that for the Panzers. Next unit. Uh, 511AH, which is going to be the choppers. Now, they're nape of the earth, and with choppers, you gotta, you got to identify, you got to clarify what position they're going to be in at the beginning. Let me check line of sight. Yeah, it does clip that. All right. So I guess... I move too far over there, though, then I'm going to start getting shot at by the Zissu. Actually, you know what I can do? I'm going to keep them in hover mode, or nape of the earth. One, two, three, four, five, like this. That'll keep us out of line of sight of the Zissu. And then next turn, hopefully, we'll be able to <laughs> shoot at the BMBs. I have a feeling they won't be there next turn, though. Oh, maybe I should flank with the this these helicopters around. I wonder if I'll, I don't know what the line of sight is here. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I can move there. And the Zis you won't be able to see me, but I'll be able to shoot down that hex spine. Alright, I think that's good. That's gonna be ops complete on both of those guys. Boop, boop. And we remove the Marker representing the headquarters for them from the end operations guard. Last one. Gee, I wonder who this is going to be. <laughs> 367th GMRR. And it's going to be the last turn. I mean, the end of operations card will go in, but there's, there's no other cards left in the formation deck. So it'll go in. So this will be the last turn. Um, headquarters. Where do we want to put the headquarters? You know what? Let's be a little bit heroic. One, two, three, four. Okay, check for command and control. Uh, range is four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so everybody's still in command and control. Remove all ops complete markers. Uh, we got the no missiles there, so they're about worthless. Yeah, attach them there. 
Oh, I wonder. It helps if I even have the camera pointing. Mm. So yeah, we're going to put the headquarters there. Oh, you know, I kind of noticed this off camera last turn. I had shots at the Leos up there with my missile systems, but I forgot about it. And then the Leos moved out of range. Poopy. So, it comes down to, this issue is not doing anything. That BMP, I think, is going to go ahead and go, is not going to do anything. She's going to stay right there. We've got Napathy Earth Hilo there. I could fire at that. We've got a couple Martyrs there. I think, well, I can't get back, I can't get back across the bridge to, to rejoin the rest of the unit. And if, yeah, if I move forward, it'll put those guys out of, Let's go ahead and do it anyways. Need to try to stop these. Oh, I can't do that. Ah, I was going to move there and then use the their, their onboard missile systems to fire at the martyrs. But I can't because it's within two hexes. I thought I could fire the high explosive. Well, I think they've got 30 millimeters. Two dice at five. But I'm moving. There'll be one dice at five. I stay there. You know what? Okay, I think we're going to fire at the choppers instead. They're going to stay there, but they're going to fire at the choppers. <laughs> Don't think I can use ATGMs against helicopters. Actually, I think I can. Because when they're in nape of the earth, they're considered like ground targets. But I'm not even going to open up that can of worms and that headache for me. So this one, the bottom one, is going to go ahead and fire that helo there. And range of three, two dice at five, but we'll add in the HQ with them. So it'll be four dice at five. Uh, five. Well, okay, there's one hit. Let's see. And they just have one straight up dice at five. Oh, they made it. <laughs> Distressing. Uh, and the other one is going to go ahead and fire two dice at five at that guy right there. Uh, four and a three. Nothing. Mm. All right. Well, that's going to be ops complete for them. Um... One, two, three, four, five. Well, it's long range. But I can get some high explosive shots off. Yeah, it's only crossing one obscuring, not going through any Okay, so yeah, these guys will fire as well. Both of them will fire their 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 auto cannons at that helo unit right there. One, two, three, four. So it's gonna be long range. So two dice at six, two dice at six. No command bonuses. Nothing. And the second one. Ah, one hit. All right. Well, we got one hit earlier, and it didn't do us any good. Gets one save at five. Uh, one did not. Okay, I think that actually destroys the helo. So let's take a look at... Because they're one step, or they're, they're, yeah, they're technically one step. Oh, maybe that would only just disrupt them. Helos, A fire, page 48. I think that just disrupts them. Da, 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 da. Uh, Oh, you know what? I think I think my two hits were were automatically sixes, because if I'm using yeah, crap, that's right. All right, I needed sixes just because we're using uh, maybe. Oh well. Oh yeah, it would only disrupt them because I remember helos automatically recover from disruption uh, during their their phase or their turn or their impulse when it comes back around um all right well that's gonna be that's gonna be it for the turn then that's the last that's the last impulse and remove all ops complete markers 
<laughs> now for the fun. Well, I don't have to worry about any any fires spreading because there's no fires for them to spread to. Let's see if we can burn some of this stuff out. Let's start there. Need a, it's a one in six chance. Let's go with a six. Uh, nope. Next one. Uh, nope. 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 Oh my god, really? Nope. Oh my freaking god. Odd said one of those should have. Not a one of them. Oh my god. Uh, Germans are going to lose it on that alone. <laughs> Off of a fire that they started at the beginning of the game. <laughs> Questions, comments, concerns, complaints, criticisms? In the comment section, I'll talk it a bit next time. She